Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So you may recall that I recently featured the Anchor Solix C300 DC in the channel and it got a significant amount of views because it's such a compelling product for the features in such a tiny package and also I think a very fair asking price. So for today's video, I will be featuring EcoFlow's River 3, which is essentially their version of that power station. Now, EcoFlow sent me the River 3 for free so I can make this comparison video. However, the River 3 has AC outlets, which the Anchor Solix C300 DC does not. So I actually had to go buy an Anchor Solix C300, which has the AC outlets, so I can complete this video. We'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison between the two power stations, breaking down their features and their price. I should also clarify that in my last video, I mentioned that the C300 doubles the output not the capacity of the C300 DC. So just a little clarification. Let's start with the highlights of the EcoFlow River 3. This power station uses cutting edge X-Core technology, which includes features like X-GAN power for higher energy efficiency, making it smaller and lighter than many of its competitors. With a 245 watt hour capacity, it has a slightly smaller storage than the Anchor Solix C300 but it compensates with some unique features. EcoFlow's X-Boost technology allows the River 3 to power appliances beyond its 300 watt rating, up to 600 watts for devices that need that extra kick. This makes it incredibly versatile for powering more demanding appliances, especially during emergencies. So how do these two stack up in terms of output and capacity? Well, the Anchor Solix C300 offers a larger battery at 288 watt hours compared to the EcoFlow River 3's 245 watt hours. The River 3 also has X-Boost, which allows it to power appliances up to 600 watts, making it better suited for higher demand devices like fridges or power tools. However, the Anchor Solix C300 also provides a maximum output of 600 watts using their surge pad technology and provides more ports, including dual 140 watt USB-C outlets making it more flexible for charging multiple devices quickly. Now, both units feature solar charging, but the River 3 supports 110 watt solar input, slightly faster than the Anchor's 100 watts. This makes charging the River 3 faster at around 2.6 hours compared to Anchor at around 3.2 hours. In terms of portability, the EcoFlow River 3's 3.5 kilograms is lighter than the Anchor's 4 kilogram weight. The River 3 might be bulkier, but its IP54 waterproof rating adds extra durability for harsh environments, something the Anchor doesn't really offer. That said, the Anchor Solix C300's tall and compact design makes it a bit easier to place on small surfaces. Also, the Anchor Solix C300 does have this light feature built in. Both devices cater to outdoor enthusiasts, but with slightly different strengths. The Anchor Solix C300's built-in light and ultra-portable design make it perfect for camping trips and remote locations. And with the more charging ports available, it's going to be attractive to people who charge multiple devices all at once. The EcoFlow River 3, on the other hand, brings its X-Quiet technology into play, limiting noise to under 30 decibels, which makes it almost silent. Best use case scenario would be overnight use or powering sensitive equipment like Wi-Fi routers during emergencies or outages. And speaking of emergencies, the River 3 has an automatic 20 millisecond switching feature that seamlessly switches to battery power during outages, perfect for keeping your security cameras or small fridges running. In comparison, the Anchor Solix C300 does the same thing, but faster at 10 milliseconds. I'll be honest, this is a very close comparison, and in some cases, the Anchor Solix C300 actually kind of wins. However, the River 3 has a more rugged exterior, has a waterproof rating, and also has a silent charging mode, making it a reliable option for more rugged outdoor conditions or emergency home use. But River 3's biggest advantage over the Anchor Solix C300 is the price. Currently, the River 3 is priced at $199 on their website, compared to $250 for the Anchor Solix C300. And occasionally, you'll see them discount it further to around $159. That is nearly a $100 price difference, making the River 3 a very compelling power station for its rugged design, size, and great features. Very similar to this but cheaper. 
So thank you for watching this video. I hope this comparison gave you enough information to make you decide which one is best for you. Once again, I want to say thanks to EcoFlow for sending me the River 3 so I can make this comparison video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it does help a lot. And I'll see you guys again next time.